Marvel 7 here, back with another, back with Spider-Man, Green Goblin campaign, and we are now in one of the most annoying parts, Oscorp. Are we in the, uh, it looks like we're in the middle of a PS2 war hey, game. Hey, what are your turn? Sorry. Sorry, pal, but I can't let anyone spot me just yet. So, anyway, I'm my co- my- my co-commentator's here today. And I'm Saron, and I couldn't see anything. It was too dark. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Double Z, and like I said, this is reminding me of, like, a PS2 horror game, like, sure. Well, no. good, it's on the PS2. Right. All right. Actually, and this, the this game is game GameCube. GameCube. Yeah, but there's a PS2 version. Yes, and, yeah, you're right, there's an original Xbox. Right. <laughs> Evil. Jeez, that's dark. I, right. I, I will tell you. You're a shadowy man right now. Yeah, if anything, I'll tell you this right now. The AI doesn't exactly change, so, so we fired these guns does absolutely nothing different. Different in terms of the AI, meaning you would just shoot them off and they won't even come to speech. This isn't. Which one? So, yeah, this... I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, never mind. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Let me just say... I know. I know about them. I just never played them. Um, unpopular opinion to some, mostly to people who love the originals. Uh, the form was actually pretty good. I liked it. The form? Yep. Just call it. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. Soft reboot. But technically, it's the form. Because it takes place after D3. Honestly, okay. oh crap, he sent me alarm off for the first time. Should have gone with Dishonor, I have actually played that. Believe it, and believe it or not, just because he tripped the alarm does not automatically mean fail. Right. But, let's go. I, got will, I will tell you, this takes, this part takes a lot of patience. Yeah. Four stealth missions are the worst. Absolutely. No, 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 if it was four stealth, stealth you would have already lost. Thief stealth like this is a bit better. Right. Uh, though Thief is best period. Where's the break? Okay. Okay. A little, the first of five like pieces of the Pasco. Two Four more, more left. Stealth game. Stealth we can't outdid stealth mechanics. Yeah, it was still alright. I mean, it's realistic. What What do you expect when, when you're caught? You know, like, out of your cell and put it in five. Alright. It looks like you're about to get demolished. I don't know. Oh, oh. Well. Yeah, what were you trying to do in there? Uh, I thought you were going to turn off the alarm, but then there was nothing that's really there. You can't turn off the alarm, you just have to wait for it to turn off by itself. Right, well, uh, that's going to be hard since you're getting pummeled. Yeah. Here we go. I find them better while they can do them. They're a good track. Punisher. They gotta fuse him with the 
Punisher. Spider Noir, some, some crap, or did that happen in that? Spider Noir, I think, yeah, he has the helper. But uh, I'm more talking about, like, the Iron Punisher, where he has, like, web shooters. Like, man, he just got that guy in the bullet. By the way, this is reminding me a lot of the original Deus Ex for some weird reason. I do not know about Deus Ex. Well, I'll take your word. Well, I can right. tell you right now that, like, a lot of people in the entire world probably just went and downloaded it. Go to alert! Yeah. Well, I do have a Well, what company would make that? Uh, I don't see their name. I, well, I don't know if they had anything to do with it. I don't actually Sound when you're at low health. <laughs> hey, you know what? This gen of Pokemon actually made it a pretty rad beat. I haven't played the fifth gen. I've been trying to. Look. Well, if they remake it, um, then what? you'll get a chance to see it again. Yeah. If they've just remade fourth gen. Yeah, I remember Gen Five getting a lot of crap. <laughs> I don't remember that. I remember it being fairly popular. I remember it when it was given a lot of crap, mostly because the people who got the Pokemon. Well, probably just because that the is not what I remember. I remember number three being the one that got all the crap. Number four and five were pretty popular. Ah. Number five was the first one to get a first a direct <laughs> sequel. Yeah, and I remember, and someone told me the story is at least half decent. Well, yeah, because it actually deals with some interesting uh, premises, so, you know. Two it down, means three more to go. They actually put effort into it. <laughs> put effort, yeah. Problem is that it's a bit undermined by the villain, who didn't actually believe this shit he was saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, there's a problem there. Right. Yeah. I have played, I have played Gen 1, 2... Two again, three, and then six and seven. Yeah. What do you mean two again? I'm doing hardcore and soul silver. Back on Spider-Man, if there actually was an adaptation of Spider Noir, I would pay money to see that. Other than he, him, ha other than like costumes you get from other Spider-Man games, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Security has Spider-Man. I choose you, Mysterio Mon. Go. <laughs> Use confusion beams! Speaking. I'm surprised that actually hasn't been a thing yet. It I, probably is, we just don't know what it is. <laughs> Speaking of Mysterio, that that convenience store box <laughs> was three. absolutely I'm more sure. I know what you're talking about because I played Spider-Man 2. Yeah, well, well I think we both played Completion. Yeah. The last part was the, the, the Doc Ock battles were probably the worst part of it. Right. I don't remember having problems with it. I like I said I when I had a game, get cube, one more. I played it with my Can't sister. Get now. One of the games we used to play religiously, like all the time, like, we have to play it right next to the other play it after school, was Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Yeah, Gauntlet Dark, yeah, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, because we actually maxed out, we beat the whole game, got into the option. Ah, he finally died. Oh, and he only has one left to go. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't die sooner. I think I, I think we're coming towards a cut. I can't remember if I even cut any of this out, but I don't remember having too much too much problems aside from requiring a lot of patience. Yeah. Yeah. From what has Sirens told me, Gauntlet Dark Legacy is terrible. Uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy is just the N64 Gauntlet, but worse. Uh, sure, it's got the Jester class, which, and I think it's got one additional world Sorry, pal, but I can't um, let anyone spot me just yet. Like that. I don't think we're talking about the same version of Gauntlet Dark Legacy, because I remember they don't tell you to, you could cycle through your items, so I did that randomly until I actually, so when I had, like, multiple items, I was selected my... Holy crap, you could actually do that? Mm, I don't remember, but yeah, I think I am talking about the right one. I think we're talking about two different ports of it. Yeah, there are different ports of the same game. I don't remember that much. Dark Legacy is the N64 one on the PlayStation. Yeah, I, I used the GameCube one. Oh, okay. Well, then it probably got updated then. Yeah, probably. I don't know. 
just play the N64 version. Right. Cool. And I've completed that. Right. I, yeah, me and my sister completed uh, Gauntlet Dark Galaxy on the GameCube. But... Oh, I One question. Any of you heard of Robotech? Yeah. Uh, new shoes. Yes. I struggle to remember if that's one of the robot ones I played. Okay. This is the first I of five pieces of I have not Pascal. found a Robotech Four game. I know the show, Robotech. Yeah, and let me tell you, when it comes to the Robotech game, let me just tell you, I really have a love-hate relationship with it. Okay. The game, I... Let me just tell you, I hate the campaign. Okay. Why? Because, number one... It becomes a oh, 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 oh. And, and also, the second... I could not get past the second level. Not because of the difficulty, because they don't even tell you what to do. Okay. I have a weird question when it comes to Robotech. Is it Digimon? No. No. <laughs> it's more like, I keep hearing like it's three anime smushed into one. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, he's hiding and he's looking for computers and also shooting down the guards. They can raise the alarm and their arms annoying. Okay. Well, I will say those guns are sparsely accurate. Do you use the tranquilizer there, buddy? This isn't a James Bond game, unfortunately. Actually, I was just referencing Deus Ex again. Yeah. I was gonna actually go re reference Metal Gear. Another thing about this level is that you never seen the ice to another 24 hour shift. They'll like, like be frozen in place. But <laughs> Why do you always go there? Not exactly to hide it, just to get it in the middle of the fight. He's too fast. Well, that, that's... Yeah, because you're too much more. Being off, being a, 
be a recently laid off worker. <laughs> Did you get laid off? No. Oh, okay. I thought you were telling us a tale about yourself. No, be a laid off worker who trashes the place. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's one line of dialogue with the guards. It's like, I am so Two down, three more to go. I'm just like, wow, the conditions must be really bad. Terrible. Hey, isn't that... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you shooting? The guard that was in front of him. All right. I'm actually... Was. Yeah. Now, behind us. Behind the in <laughs> all, that's all that's left is the indestructible cubicle. Yeah, I used to be that, as you guys know, I used to be a security guard, and honestly, I was I, I would so come across a lot of shift. weird characters, but not like this. That's guy. three. I'm more than halfway there. Not. Right. Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. I see green goblins all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a few stories about some of the ones that stood out? What goblins that stood out? No, this is no characters I found when I was. A lot of them happened downtown when I was guarding the Galvin Center. Mm -hmm. Alright. Kind of downtown. <laughs> anyway, the... I remember I, I had to look under the stairs because there would be... Oh, 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 I, I go there. Oh, there. And so, I go under one and I find this guy. This guy is just passed out. <laughs> out. Just need to get oh, one more. Can't get like. caught now. The guy was... This guy had on tight leather pants. This guy wasn't. This this guy wasn't even muscular, by the way. He was overweight, weight, and and let's just. And he was shirtless. The dude looked like Randy from Trailer Park Boys. What are you doing here? He's trying to figure out where the last one is, which is right there. There's a hop skipping away. He looked like Randy from Trailer Park Boys. Great. And now to get that blast had a door open. Ram stamp on him that said, "I'm not kidding." Boy toy. Well, maybe that's why he was homeless. He was a boy toy, then he pissed off his mistress. <laughs> <laughs> or the dude was a stripper. I See don't if know. I can remember how Is this that's works. That's a possibility because the dude smelled like. like weed and alcohol, and, and he did have some powder in his mustache, but whatever. I just told him to get out, get, get out and then he kind of went stumbling into the night. Didn't really say anything. Didn't really fight me because I don't think he could if he tried. He was too out of it. Got it! Alright. Here we go. Wow, what could it be? Let's find out. It's the vulture! That wouldn't be surprising. Wow, it's the end of the level. Alright! Breaking and entering. That's that's just one of the weird to run into. Okay. Well, it's just honestly, 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 another one. I mean, our our girls. Okay. Right. Yeah. They're just so out of it. Okay. <clears throat> Gross. Super soldiers? Oh, boy. I, like, I think you mean super robots. <laughs> no, super soldiers. <laughs> <Right>. Like Bane. <laughs> also, in the Spider-Man thing, this guy actually does have a purpose. He's basically, he comes in and confronts him. And then he's basically, he's basically like, you're gonna stay silent. You tell me what I need to do, something like that. You know? Better keep my and eyes peeled for patrols. Exactly that. Right. Doesn't More stealth? Yes. Intruder! And, I wish I could do this. Uh. And immediately blow your cover. And the wild strategy! Better save this for when I need yeah, it. Yeah, and also that that green slime right there, or for chemicals, whatever. If you actually got that, it'll break the first. Alright, that's returning Spider-Man plus two. Wait, or six. Or six arm Spider-Man. Wait a minute, are those those in performance enhancers? Like, that cause this whole mess in the first place. Yes. Right. 
Oh, wow. And you reacted to us in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, gotten gotten apparently so many people wanting it back. There are petitions all over the place. I have no idea what the soda is, and I know a, le a decent amount. And then you have. Uh, do you want to know what's one thing I wish these cereal companies would would bring back? What? Them freaking cereal straws. Oh my gosh, those were good. Okay. Nope. Better keep my eyes peeled do for patrol. Yeah. I barely remember those. I mean, I probably have. I will say it did manage. Oh, whatever. I'll say it did make it. Oh, and then after you're done with them, you can just chomp them down. Great. Let's see what Google's ones. Those were the best. By the way, this is not exactly great right storage for your waste. Right. You're wrong. You're absolutely I better save correct. this for when I need it. Sound the alarm! Oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, hey. And apparently he's arrived with an explosion! Oh. Come back here, yo! Uh... Why do I keep running into those? He's know. just thirsty. Right. <laughs> because you need SURGE! I will tell you... Uh, and speaking of Mountain Dew, I will say, I have not been impressed with this. Because a lot of them end up tasting too much like candy. Contact. Like the, like the, like, what was it? Do America do it say that it tastes like freaking sweet corn? Well, that was too good. That was too good. Yeah, do you say it? That, there was one they actually did where they just mixed, you know, like, I know. That's the two I said. Oh, oh, yeah. Red, white, and blue. Oh, oh that's all right. Voltage, uh, whatever. Like, code uh, red. Code uh, red. Code red. I I thought that one wasn't too bad. I think oh, that one was terrible. Target. Then you have, like, the... Oh, it was like the second one. What was it? Liberty Brew. That one seemed like perfectly hard. Right. You're gonna die. Like, they had like, to keep getting stun locked. And a lot. <laughs> He's pretty much... Ha Nailing the hammer, the, the, hammering the nail on the head. Mm. I can never say that right. Right. I've never been that big of a fan of Mountain Dew. I tried it, just wasn't impressed by it. Yeah, and and didn't and, and didn't you say didn't you say you're not fond of caffeinated drinks to begin with? No, I've given up caffeine. Like, what was it like? Holy crap! It's like better keep my eyes peeled for control. I mean, there was like times I was trying to go to alert to, and I just so I had to keep it. Oh, 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 but, 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 but of course, it doesn't have the carbonated kick, though. Right. But back when I was blood drinking the soda on the radar, I was more like a fried uh, fried or Dr. Pepper. Would you drink Dr. Pepper again if if they made a cafeteria version with the two milk? Mountain Dew, I wish they would bring back just for the sake that I used it. Used it. Basically. Do you remember what was it called? Ice or something? Like ice. 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 
Basically what I did, I used to just mix with cranberry juice. That's some good stuff right there. Oh, right. so good. mad. Yeah, I was so mad when they just That was like my, like I used to make that for people, I used to make that in this room, but I have to be careful. I, just know what it is. I think I died like a specific like order for activation. But yeah, that's that was probably the bane of this. Oh my gosh! Last Did thing I want to do is trigger a meltdown. Let's get things started in these control rooms. <laughs> I have to go to the main <laughs> chamber and inject the chemicals yeah, and finish the job. That's uh, Half-Life One. Yeah. Uh, when aliens start coming, because you put a crystal in a laser. Yeah. I've never played that. I have, I have played up like, but I know it's probably the most, one of the most iconic. Or can we come on to the third one? one pie. This game's probably never going to come out. Yeah, so much so, it has to come to me. Yeah, Oh, I guess I didn't tell you guys this. What? So, I'm going to tell you this, guys. Now, I know this sounds kind of what some people would call it, but this is something that actually happened. So I was on stage, and I had one of those friends, people who just like friend you for the sake of friending you, but you don't actually know who they are. Right. Yeah. Right. So while I was downloading stuff, yeah, I wasn't playing at the time. I look over at my computer and I see a little pop-up saying that guy is playing Half-Life 3 Beta non-Steam game. That had been a joke. Well. It may have been. It may have been some kind of mod or something, and that's what I think, because it said non-Steam game. Non-Steam. Okay. Yeah, it specifically stated non-Steam game. Alright. But it had an icon that said Half-Life 3. That's the only evidence I have, but that was years ago, so... I don't know, you tell me what's going on. Yeah, you're... I he, think he didn't say anything I think about fans it. just got sick of Valve and just started like, You know what? If you're not gonna make Half-Life 3, we'll make our own. Well, I do know that there was some kind of deathmatch thing that some fans made that used the Half-Life uh, 2 engine, and it was called, like, it was something silly because you, like, kill people with your parts and stuff. Oh, uh, that uh, makes something, sense. Something, uh, part, part 3 or something like that. Alright. And I think maybe it was that. So, Better keep my eyes peeled for patrol. This way. Back for blood, speaking of... Thinking about apparently, apparently behind the scenes, you know, Valve didn't actually do most of the work this time. They did a couple things about behind the scenes, but they didn't want to be credited for it. But the only, the only way they, they, they the only way to kill me, and the only evidence that they did do it, maybe aside from a couple of things work for Valve, Valve, are there's literally an Easter egg of a Valve on the top of a building. <laughs> I don't know if that's an homage, but people are saying a couple employees had from Valve had something. But I don't know if that was just insulting or anything. But I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about that for blood. I actually, I actually play a little bit, but it's not bad. It's just kind of much the same, you know. I, don't get me wrong. I like Left 4 Dead. I like Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I actually don't think it's too bad. I mean, I mean, it's monotonous, but it's fun. Right. Well, you see, so here's the thing. I'll say this about that, that for blood. It's like, yeah, sure, it's just left for dead, but here's the major issue. The characters are not hmm. I'm here, I should throw a wrench in Oscorp's weapons program. Whereas they're still going to make them obviously identified from left for dead one and two. Right. 
So you got a problem there because everything just looks like this gray blob of flesh. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Same you dead. They make their characters at least. I can start the process right in this room, room, but I have to and be one careful. Thing I, here's one thing. I think I think you probably already realized this and and love love for love for dead is that they kind of advertise you know like try to make some kind of challenge by saying you can't go in to, to not shoot you know like what is it the screen witch or something the witch the witch yeah basically basically but when I just went in there I realized I think this is probably just because times have changed. In reality, when you look at it, there's not too much of a consequence. All it does is just get more coming your way. That's all it does. That's not what the witch does. I have to go to the no. main chamber to That's inject the chemicals boomer. and finish the job. Uh, yeah, boomer. I have to go to the main um, chamber to inject so the chemicals and finish the job. Is, it depends on which difficulty you're doing. If you're doing it on normal difficulty, it's not a huge problem, especially if you've got your allies. Yeah. Um, if you're doing it on extra Looks like there are two control terminals. You get I wonder which is the right one. I bet there's some information. Um, so and if you do, and if you don't do it, you instantly die. Yeah, instant death. Oh. So oh, you I don't get knocked down. You die one hit. So you have other two choices: either just avoid her completely, or crown her. Yeah, it just and it's harder to do on harder difficulty. But avoiding her is a more preferable option. But yeah. but then again, like I but. Well, thank you for pointing that out, considering... Because I'm playing, I'm like, there's not much of a consequence here. For the witch? Yeah. He's playing on an easy difficulty over here. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I have... Correct. I mostly played on normal, and, but that's most... And I've never finished an entire campaign of Left 4 Dead. Oh, okay. I, I guess I'm the only one who's completed every campaign for Left 4 Dead. Well, that's because I keep dying at the end. Mm, I can't go those finales, huh? Yeah. Here we go. I get, I would get pretty far, like pretty far into the into the campaign. I would get pretty far into the campaign, then just die to either like a spit. See, this part is where Spider-Man would come more in handy. You sure, it looks like Spider-Man would have a harder time here. Right. But then again, you don't know all the moves he has in this game, so that's. that's can he fly in air? <laughs> no, he can. He can zip line though. Wait a minute, you saw that in the tutorial with Bruce Campbell. I don't think I remember zipline. It's not exactly zipline, it's zip too, like you go, like you... Yeah, the slip. Zip. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Where you just aim and then just... Then you... Alright. Alright. Looks like you're There's going... There's no... Trust me, the only way you're gonna get this right is by sheer luck, because it moves way too fast. Of course. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, I never finished a campaign of Lumber Day. Hold it. Well, I actually played it in Lumber Day 1 or 4. For some reason, it would not. For some reason, I didn't have any problems with Lumber Day. Lumber Day 2, I had no problems at all. Speaking of zombie games, I popped in Undead Nightmare with. Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Last night again, after a long time of not playing it. And literally, there's a... I discovered kind of a hilarious glitch, but it was also fitting. Right. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to defend this tower or something. This town and... Yeah, I that actually make everything headless and move into your power. You got headless. Headless horse, man. Headless horse. Right. I, I was kind of I was laughing, but I'm starting to wonder if it was making that bad battle all time. Oh no! This door is locked. Now what? Use your brain. Uh oh. Just I hear someone coming. Maybe I'll catch a break and I can get the key from him. Yeah, yeah, I've played Undead Nightmare a lot. I wanted to get up there, except I wanted to complete it, but there was one thing I didn't get. Uh, the unicorn. Fire one? I tried last one. Same thing. Yeah. It's really the I, I got the rest of the horse. The horse. Okay. Wanna know what the worst thing about worst animal enemy in the in 
the Red Dead series as a whole was the bear. The bears are so annoying. I found the cougar to be more annoying because he just popped out of nowhere. Sure, but then, it, but then again, how many shots does that thing take take to kill? It doesn't kill. matter what kind of shots it did. It always like surprised me. I would hear it and like, where is it coming on? And bam! I have nothing to contribute to this conversation. I didn't play that game. But still, I always had, I always got angry with the bears because, because early in the game they would always kill me because unless the person is like, your cow man with ball work is not ideal. Right, I, I never had problems with bears, but because I could see them a mile away pump them up a bubble full of shotgun gels. Yeah, 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 then we have, what was it? Speaking of which, I, I will tell you, I have not found one game yet that actually gets the... Uh, I don't even know why I did this. I was just going to tell. Or was I not? Oh uh, yeah, oh looks yeah! Like that's where you're supposed to go. Me? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah, forgot. Maybe C and D. Oh yeah, yeah I think But let's just say that that I haven't seen one. Oh, we're gonna have to go full half life. We're going full That what was it called? Yeah, that's what the final was called. Okay. Full on. I don't think I've not seen a Wesley game that gets that full can of pistol historically correct at all. You know, I've never seen anyone with a steam gun either. But you don't see me complaining. Yeah, true, but. True, but but then again, it's not as powerful, and some portray it as chase enemy I mean, ignition, which it's not. I mean, well, we're almost done here. All right, just a few more. Yeah. Use the lock on camera to keep a constant view of your target. Oh boy! Right. I love constant views of my target. <laughs> and Lock on. Go, 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 go. Lock on. This is the boss. Kinda boss right here. Okay, what like, is this? It's totally it looks pointless. like a half-finished giant rope Megazord. It looks like a half No, 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 no. It, it's the airplane runner to those uh, things in the picture. The reason this thing this can be hard is the extra Consistent movies. Yep. And it's the reason that forever more in my mind I'll remember. And that X exploding in the background. <laughs> yes. That was so dumb. I mean, but it was awesome. It, it didn't for it didn't freeze, but I don't know what it looks like. It didn't freeze. It's just it's just that I think, yeah, I was I was literally chomping on stuff while watching this. It While is, playing this, or right. playing this, but uh, that that particular animated series, does, it kind of made me always think that uh, Rogue was just always part of the main group, which is why when the movies, the first movies after that came out, yeah, I was like, wait, hey, why are I'm like, yeah, I actually when I saw like, shouldn't it be Jubilee? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like. I think you want to do believe. I know she's not. Uh, I don't. I know she's not overly popular, but she, but she does have fans. So. Yeah. Well, the whole thing is. 
other thing was, I was like, wait, where's her powers? I only recently figured out why she didn't have those powers. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Also, pretty good. I actually managed to sit down and watch the 2015 failed reboot of the Fantastic Four Fantasy Four, as some people know it, and four things. I call them. Uh, what was the original? I don't remember there ever being a good Fantastic Four. There have been, actually, actually, four Fantastic Four movies. Wow! One was never released. That's the Roger Corman one. Already. And then the one from the 2000s. Yeah, I can agree. <laughs> when it comes to those ones, either like them or you Wow. I like yeah. them. I like them. I think they're at least decent. And, and I'll admit, during that time when that, that movie was really taking off, I literally had 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 the this fantastic boy that was basically just a reskin Stress Armstrong down the night. Well yeah. Hey, at least it was appropriate. Yeah, it was right. appropriate, yeah. 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 I remember that thing. Or it's just an Armstrong really didn't think it did. Or the monster's personality. Uh, either way, sorry. I'm out. When it comes to Fan Force all I can tell you is, I will say each one, each one, you know the origin, you know like the, the heroes of the maker. Let's just say, not not one gets the Doctor Doom origin correct. None but, of them. But but I think, but I do think it's appropriate because honestly, that's kind of where it's the original stuff kind of shows its age. You know what I know the sad thing? The most accurate Doctor Who is from the is from that bootleg Roger Corman one. Yeah, yeah, that's he's the, the most accurate. Yeah, and that's just sad. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought Doctor Who's whole thing is that he went to space with the other four. He just decided to leave them. Well, that's what well that's what the movies were. Uh, yeah, I but, believe, but that's not exactly true. But let's just put it in this way. Uh, well, the, the, the reason I say is that, that, you know, like, where it goes to pay is because back in the 60s, this, Dr. Doom being the dictator of a fictional European country the was at least believable. Now for the censoring. It was believable, but, um, but in the films, the first, well, the first two, they could say, you know, it's um, sort of, sort of, sort of like the corporate scumbag or something. I forgot. So I, but it was a business man. But, but in the in the reboot, it was he's just some cynical basement dweller. I isn't the, I remember like being the same actor who did like the Amazing the Green Goblin, Amazing Spider-Man Two, and in that found footage that found footage movie Chronicle. I've never even heard that one. And I will not blame. But then again, I've I've heard of. When it comes to found footage movies, I only... Why don't I haven't seen very many of I've heard of I'm... Grindhouse, that I know that one. Project X, which... Well, I'm not saying that. Which... Nah. Escape from Oscorp. I know how to escape from Oscorp. Find a window and get out of it. You can fly. <laughs> and it's, it's like, but this is really Spider-Man. Spider-Man can swing off the buildings. Or just climb We're down. living. There's a reason why he sticks to New York City. Yeah. Is there no... I thought we were underground. That would make some sense. <laughs> the moment there's a window, this stops <laughs> Yes. But, you know, and don't say we can't break it. No way I'm getting oh my God! Wall in one piece. We have enough firepower that can we can probably throw half this building up. So all I can tell you is that the design of the security costume in the shut off reboot is hilariously bad. I know what you're talking about. I Those guns like won't give me any trouble. I'm not kidding. Now I just need to find a way through that laser wall. I'll show you a picture. Now I know what he looks like. I'm not talking to you. I he said I'm talking to you. Hey, you're talking to me. I'm talking to me. At this point, I think you should just walk, I think you should just walk away and run away. Yeah. I wouldn't bother fighting them either. They're all gonna blow up. For all we know, this is a self we're in the middle of a self destruction Perfect! Now I just need to get past that energized door and I'm set. Five, seconds, four, three, two, one. Kaboom! Oh, 
<laughs> Thank you. I mean, I mean, when he has to put his football money, the my energy's top top bad, but but still, this is so hilarious. Literally, this is side by side. This is the guy from the flip. This is the guy from 2005, which is accurate. This I don't know, you could be a robot. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not. It's like covered in your elements of this entire thing. Nah, 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 it's a robot. Yeah, you have a robot. It is more accurate. I would've been off. This thing looks like I'm sitting in. I would've been off. I would've given Pat Morsic extra points if that was revealed to be a doom bar. I should be able to pass the energy field on that doorway now. Yeah, well, maybe that would have been revealed in the sequel, but you'll never know. Yeah. And also, the thing is, like, oh, yeah. one thing that he does, like, when he first breaks free, he literally just, like, stares at the guards and just, like, makes, like, a brains explode or something. I don't Enemy know. Sighted. What even was his power? I don't know. Uh, oh, I never it's seen like a surprise. He used power. I don't think so. Yeah, that's because, well, yep. Dr. Doom has... Uh, Alright. Well, it's too late for that, because we're about in. Alright. 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 Catch y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Tune in next time. Catch you on the flippity flip flip. Alright.